Hey guys, I'm Apoc. Welcome back to the channel. This is a guide for Deer Gear Dungeon 2, Stage 2. All right, guys, let's get into it. All right, guys, this is the only guide you're ever going to need right here. Gear Dungeon 2, Stage 2, right? Let's go ahead and turn Power of Dominus off. Let's try to make this as, as, as realistic for the first run as possible. This is a guide, and we're going to show you the strategy. Now, these are the heroes. The couple of heroes that I think are irreplaceable right here. Um, well, I mean, it's not irreplaceable. You could use other heroes. Like, uh, you know, instead of this tank here, you could use uh, Silas, for instance. You could probably even use a uh, Captain Reeve, to be honest, you know, which uh, I'm thinking about trying out. I love Captain Reeve, so I really want to put him in there. Um uh volka is going to be very essential for this she's free to play so there's really no reason not to have her she's going to be essential especially in the later levels because you're going to be picking people up and putting people down you know re replacing heroes redeploying them i guess is a proper terminology so she's going to be important to have so get ready uh to use her in your team just just to get ready uh used to using her my big dps here is going to be lust she's a beast fighter she's going to do all types of damage and then uh, my big tank uh, that is, uh, you know, um, can come back to life if need be. Um, I'm getting used to playing with someone like that as well, just like Regulus, right? Both of these guys can come back to life one time. You're going to need these guys in the later rounds, not necessarily stage two, but get used to using them now. Maybe a Baron or something like that, right? Get used to using them now. I got Elowen in there doing Elowen things. I really enjoy her over some of the other healers because of the little fairy that you can place somewhere else. Uh, uh on the field that does the healing right that's going to be very important for healing this little lady she's very very important almost irreplaceable i think just about the only other person you could use her for would be like a silas but you know if you have hasut use hasut it's going to be the best option there so let's get into it i'll show you the gear and the stats at the end of the video the strat is very similar in every one of these um setups but in the later levels you need to tweak it just a bit for simple survivability sake right here these first ones we're not going to need to worry about these two guys i mean this guy too too much because he just comes out and where's lust he just comes out and he does uh, a little bit of damage upon death for a few seconds right see that right there Doing a little bit here a little bit there we'll get elowen out there doing elowen things perfect now we're going to put our tank over here. He's going to be able to handle just about anything thrown his way. And boom. That's pretty much it. The only need other person that we're really going to need right here is do that. We'll do that. Knock these guys out. Lust absolutely murders is this little lady here. Now, a lot of people like to put her out on this one right here. Understand. But if you don't have as much HP on her, you're gonna need to put her back one, right? This is where Elowen comes in handy. Let me show you. Put her right there. Boom, boom, boom. She takes care of them all but one. She'll eventually shoot that. Everything's good there. But this right here is how you heal her, right? You can only put a, a fairy right there. If you were to move her up, you wouldn't be able to reach. All right, these guys are doing their things. Get Lust popping. Lust will even get this lady here a little bit sometimes, especially if she even steps foot into this tile at all. Lust starts destroying. Our suit's doing good. She didn't even need to pop the, the boost there. Let's get a little heal on her. The good thing is now that she has that ultimate going, I'm going to pop it as soon as she goes by. Come on, let's get some of that. Ooh, not quite, but it was always good. Again let that pop look at that getting them all getting them all getting them all perfect hot suit doing hot suit things get that heal outstanding 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 19 out of 24 doing well check it out check it out one two three four heroes on the field over here with a hot suit on the north end that's it so far we'll get that extra heal just to get that going Go ahead and pop uh, uh, the ultimate because we've got these guys coming in here. Outstanding. We'll get some of that as well. Why not? Doing that, doing that, doing that. Perfect. Now, these really the last two guys, so I really don't need her. But I like to have her <laughs> all healed up just for good measure. 
All right, there we go. There we go. Lust cracking that whip. Oh, I should have got her up top, but I didn't. That's all right. Come down over here. Now that this guy's on full red alert, he's just doing damage like crazy. Uh, because of the artifact he has on, he's gaining life every time he attacks as well. So it's a win-win. And the fact that he's AoE damage means he does damage to multiple enemies at a time. So he's able to heal, right? Because of the artifact. Again, I'll go over that in just a second. But let's check out these stats first. Boom, look at that. Lust, 6 million. Right? She's up there with Hasud, only pumping out four. But I mean, look at this guy. You know, he's almost up there with Hasud, which is something to, you know, say something about already, right? That, that That's saying something. That is absolutely saying something. Right, the rest of these guys didn't even need to use them. Didn't even need to use them, right? There's only a one, two, three, four, four hero, uh, uh, you know, game. Uh, you know, you put her out there for healing, so what, five? That's really it. That's all you need for this. It's really not that not that difficult once you have some heroes that are doing the specific types of, of, of damage, right? That's what it comes to, a specific types of damage. All right, let's look at these heroes. We'll go ahead and go back into it so you show you the full lineup again right let's look at this guy basic tank gear nothing fancy i do have him in invig so you could turn him backwards and give him give invig to lust that always helps out lust i did not in this run just to kind of make it a little bit easier but i do have that there for the later stages and i'll show you that as well right but you know you see his gear he's got 99,000 hp so he's pretty darn tanky and that's really all he's set up for is just tank 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 he's actually got 11,000 attack which is surprising but you know hp is really what he's there for nothing else i got him in the gold bastion ring for you know h i mean uh for reduction uh, of damage there let's go to lust right she's the, the big one if you have better da better gear to put on lust uh by all means she's going to do more damage if you have her fully skilled out, she's going to do more damage, right? Um, I don't. She's actually the very next hero I'm skilling out. So I'm excited to get that going. She's on my guild boss team. So it's actually going to help my guild boss too. I just recently finished finished gearing out. I mean, uh, 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 skilling crystal, skill crystalling up my, my hex. So I was excited about that. But anyway, <laughs> going on tangents. Uh, I got around 11,000 HP, 38,000, I mean, 38,000 HP and 11,005 attack, right? The attack doesn't seem that that big and that powerful, right? Until you look at the 454 attack speed in this 322 crit damage, right? That is outstanding, that is outstanding. And what really makes that so good on her ultimate is this right here. Increased crit damage by 30%. When triggering a simple lash, it will be triggered two consecutive times. If you look at her, her uh, skill of, where is it? Um, simple Lash, here we go. Deals 400% damage to random enemies in range. Like, Jesus, man. That is just outstanding amount of damage, especially with her artifact. Outstanding, outstanding, outstanding. And look at this BP, man. I've only got her at 70. If you can get her up to 80 or 90, the damage is going to be even better, right? so let's bounce out we'll jump at this little lady here she starts to do some pretty good damage but i've got her at you know 17 basically 18,000 attack 38k damage so she's able to do a bit tankiness that's going to be important in the later rounds um 400 attack speed which is pretty darn good crit caps and a 309 uh crit damage so she's doing what she needs to do has a wailing skull on there not even maxed out but it really helps with the damage as well hasut Again, she's up at the north side, and there we go. Only have 11,000 attack, 22 HP. That's why she needs a bit more healing from uh, Elowen, you know, the little fairy. That's why she needs more, because you generally want them to have them over about 27,000 uh, HP. That's going to help them make them a bit more tankier, a bit more survive, uh, sur uh, easier to survive uh, uh, in, in later rounds. So if you get them built right early, it makes it easier in, in later rounds but anyway 22 here and then use elowen on her to get her healed Eleven thousand attack 400 uh, basic attack speed and look at that almost 400 percent crit damage basically 400 percent crit damage that's freaking phenomenal and that little bit of rate rage regen helps i wanted more rage regen but then i was taken away from crit damage so i left it like that 
I put this little lady on her, some Idril's gaze, get a little bit of penetration on some of the guys, and it really works like a champ. Can't complain there, right? This guy, which was my tank, doing tanky things, 58 and 18. That's really cool. Really cool. 18,000 attack. I got him 500 attack speed, crit caps with a 313 crit damage, doing that stuff. Now, this was the important lunacy visor for him. When deployed, increases block by one, which is great for a fighter, right? And then each time the hero deals basic damage to one target, to a sing every time he does damage to a single target, restores HP equal to basically 1% of max HP. It can only be triggered on up to three targets at a time. Well, he hits multiple targets at a time, right? Deals basic damage to one enemy with a 15 chance of tr uh, triggering a charge attack that deals 100% AOE damage to all enemies in range, right? So you're already having uh, the AOE damage done, you know, portion of the time and then you have this sucker right here triggers automatically uh increasing match hp by 50 percent and extending attack range and reduces physical damage still 60 percent aoe damage to all enemies in range two times that's really going to help out with the um healing as well right so it's just just healing after healing after healing after healing after healing so outstanding outstanding tank uh you could use salazar in, in that place just make sure and build salazar a bit tanky and you could do that Elwin doing Elwin things i have her in invig so it helps in the later rounds um uh you, you place that on lust it helps boost lust and makes makes her outrageous um that's also why i build lust with a lot of crit damage right anyway sixteen thousand attack because this is an attack based healer although the uh, she's a little squishy like i said i want 27 28 attack uh, uh, hp but 21 8 is going to have to work you know but i do got her some fast attack speed so that really helps kind of counter that <laughs> i may have to put a bit more hp on her to survive some of the later rounds but for right now she's working with that right uh crit caps is irrelevant but that's the way the gear happens to be and uh 163 healing effects and that is helpful not even uh, uh, a maxed golden scarab on this little lady here but gets the job done gets the job done i don't even talk about him he's not used not used not used not not even really used i do like her though because where is it attack based healing here we go allies reduction damage taken is two percent i really like this and as it gets even more ally reduction damage taken gets up to three so it really helps reduce uh the damage that they're taking right here it says additionally allies in range will receive full percent less damage so she's really helpful in in any time uh you have a tank uh yeah you know, <laughs> that needs to have a uh, damage reduction, right? You know, it's just kind of how that works. Uh, and then just some basic horrific orbs on her. But anyway, guys, that's the team. Gear Dungeon 2. Make sure to like, subscribe for the rest of the videos. I'm going to put the uh, guides out for the rest of the stages uh, next. So check those out. Like I said, like, subscribe, and I'll see you around for the next one. If you enjoyed that video, guys, check out my channel here or my latest video here. Until next time, APOC out.